Okay, this is LAX we're talking here. We're talking big criminal activity. So tell them what the fuck going on in Cook Mania. It's Cook Mania, Beachside Edition. We got an amalgamation of talent for you today. Starting with my dog right here. Needs no introduction. Hey! <laughs> what we got here? We got the Troublesome 2 over there. Two of the best producers in the game, dog. Top to bottom, clean, hard beats. Clean, clean, hard. Yo, you know this is where you come in. Oh, as you see, we already have one of our main businessmen of the crew right here doing business. As usual, crunching numbers, emails, invoices. That's what's up, bro. Clients. <laughs> Here we have Jay Graham says he can roll the best backwood in the world. We're about to find out if it's truth or fiction. Snip. <laughs> we got a perfect rectangle, boys. Wow. No stem wow. up top. No stem up top. Now we're gonna taper it like your jeans, you know? Too baggy, buddy. Wow. Ooh, too baggy, buddy. You, know, you don't want too much backwood. You wanna keep it, you know what I mean? This is like a, looking interesting. I'm wondering how you're gonna fold that. Trust me. Best backwood in the world, about to be rolled. Can't wait. You so boys the, ready? So the, so the, How many grams are in this backwood? One, as far as I know. You're right. Well, you know, it gets a bit windy when you're when you're at the ocean. You're gonna want to light this part indoors, then run outside, <laughs> so you don't get kicked out of the Airbnb. You know. So here's the magic <laughs> moment. You know. I'm expecting the best backwood I've ever smoked right now. Graham, and he's out just like that. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, and people. Don't litter. Don't litter. Wow. It's not good for the environment, man. It's fucked up. It's a pro wood. Man tells no lies. Top wood. Smoking really nice. Tastes great. Love the choice of cream. That was a that shows you. Russian know. cream? Oh, Russian you didn't even cream, tell them. you know. Recently I tried vanilla. It's alright. Russian cream. Should we lay some 808s? I don't know, man. I just said you four beats, buddy. My work here is done. So you think your drums are better than J Grams? No way. Fuck. Mammy, do you, are yours? Thought about it long and hard, I don't think so. You know, feels good, you know. <laughs> Alright y'all, I just want to put the camera on for this because it's been about two years since I plugged in old Trusty Dusty. And you know what, I just got sick of clicking today. So we're going to go back to the roots and hopefully this thing fucking turns on. That's the wrong plug, god damn it. Oh my god. I'm back just like that, y'all. 
Shouts to Native Instruments Machine. And I, I hit them up one time. All I was offered was like 50% off of a thing. But then I got an email from this kid and he said, Yo, fell, I have this serious confession to make. Like, what does this kid want? And he says, he impersonated me and emailed the Native Instruments machine and said that he was me and he got all the free shit. And he's like, I feel really bad about this and I'm sorry and like, I don't know what to tell you from that. And I'm like, fuck you, dude. Like, for real? Like, that's, your, that's what you did? I was like, no wonder Native Instruments ain't fucking with me because they... They think they've been fucking with me, but it was some impersonating ass. So the moral of that story is just do the right thing because even when you think you're doing the wrong thing and getting by, you're probably going to have some guilt and then go tell the guy and then it's just going to be awkward and I'm just going to be like, he's a weirdo, bro. So like, yeah, fuck that kid. He's weird, bro. I hope you're watching this because like, you're a weirdo, even with all your native instrument shit. seen everything you need to see and just remember cook more eat less thank you goodbye that's all folks and if you like this one just you wait for the next one